Hello and welcome to week one of SAS Bootcamp. Um, if you have not watched the introduction video, please pause, go back to that, finish that video before you come here. In this video, what I want to talk about is share my week one file notes with you so you can understand the agenda, the outline of the topics we are going to cover in week one. And then I also want to share the homework that I'm going to assign to you guys for the first week of the SAS Bootcamp. So let me go ahead and share my screen here. Uh, if you have been emailed this file separately, which if you are a member of the University of Mississippi, you should have this file. If you are not at the University of Mississippi, I am sharing this file with you on the video right now. Please pause this video, take a screenshot or take a picture and save it to your documents. Uh, this is the agenda and the homework you need to complete for week one of the SAS Bootcamp. So in the list of topics that we will cover, we will begin with the very basics. You don't need any prior knowledge of SAS to participate in this bootcamp. So in week one, we'll understand the user interface within SAS and SAS Studio. We'll understand how to reference a library, how to read and explore a data set. And then I'm going to introduce the two main tools within SAS, a proc and a data set. And we're going to employ these tools for all of the weeks coming forward. But within this week, we are going to employ these tools to create and save a new SAS data set. I'm going to talk a little bit about what a temporary and a permanent library is and how to go back and forth between these libraries. We're going to talk about how to import data into SAS and how to sort data by any variables of your choice within SAS. Once you watch the videos, I then want you to start working on the homework on your own. As you work on these things, um, please, if you have questions, if you run into errors, please take a screenshot, take a picture of the error that you're facing and then tweet at me using hashtag SAS bootcamp at Dr. Sujit Ram, which is my Twitter handle, and I will be able to answer your questions. Um, before you go on to watch the homework, before you go on to try to attempt the homework though, please make sure you actually watch all of the videos. If there is any concept you don't understand, you can tweet your questions at me and I will either answer your questions directly on Twitter itself or I will save those questions if they're extensive to go over concepts again in my Friday's video and I will answer them in a little more detail. Uh, finally, before you go forward, make sure you sign up for SAS Studio. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Go back to the introductory video, see the instructions that I shared on my screen for how to sign up for this course on SAS Studio, and then come back to this video and the rest of week one's videos. The homework for this week will basically involve six different steps. In the first step, you're gonna create your own custom permanent library called MyLib that refers to your user folder on SAS Studio. Then you'll use a SAS import wizard to import a file named import underscore example dot CSV into a SAS data set. This is a comma separated value file, the CSV file. And this file should be available to you already through SAS Studio. Um, save the resulting code from this import procedure as part of your homework submission. Step three, take the imported data set, save it into a permanent library that you created in step one. Make sure that you are doing that through your code though, and don't just use point and click procedures to do it. Uh, Step four in your homework, please use proc contents to examine the contents of the data set that you just imported into SAS. Next, I need you to sort the imported data set on the variable marital underscore ST, which denotes marital status or relationship status, such that the sorted data set is saved in a new file in the temporary work library. The last step for your homework for week one is to save the sorted data set in the permanent library you created earlier in step one using the data set. These simple, these six steps might seem like they are a lot, but I promise you they are a simple and easy introduction into SAS. As we go forward in the following weeks, I might give more extensive homeworks. For now, I want to start everybody with really, really simple steps. But if there are things that you don't understand, if you have errors that you're not able to figure out, like I said, please tweet at me and I will help answer your questions. Thank you all and I will see you uh, at the end of this week.